So here are the basic integration formulas, or at least some of them that you definitely will want to know for calculus. Um, again, depending on where you're at in your class, you may or may not have encountered some of these, but if you go through pretty much a whole typical sequence of calculus, you will definitely run into all of these and some more along the ways as well. So again, the first one says if you have x to a power, if you integrate, you basically just add 1 to the power and divide by that new power. And that's only valid, or that's valid for all values of n except for negative 1. If you use negative 1, you're going to be dividing by 0, and that's bad. The second one we have here is the antiderivative of 1 over x. And if you integrate 1 over x, so that's the case that's missing from number 1, which is the same thing as x to the negative first, you get ln of the absolute value of x. 3 says if you find the antiderivative of e to the x, you get just e to the x right back. If you find the antiderivative of cosine, you get sine. The antiderivative of sine is negative cosine. Be careful there about the negative. 6, it says if you integrate secant x tangent x, you get secant x. 7 says if you integrate secant squared, you get tangent of x. 8 says if you integrate cosecant squared, you get negative cotangent of x. 9 says if you integrate cosecant of x, cotangent of x, you get negative cosecant x. And 10 is one that you'll use. Um, use it definitely um, when you do integration by partial fractions. 1 over x squared plus a squared, you get 1 over a arctangent of x divided by a. And notice there's a plus c in all of these. c is just some arbitrary number. And the idea is if you take the derivative of any of the right hand sides of the equations, you'll want to get what you're integrating back. And since c is just some arbitrary constant, when you do take the derivative of the plus c, it'll become zero and it goes away anyway, and you will get the resulting formula on the left side. So definitely these are ones worth committing to memory, and you'll use them certainly all the time.